in last session we study about set and methods of writing set today we have to learn about practice set 1.1 question first is that write the following sets in glossary form that is in listing method example first set of even numbers so in answer we have to write here set of even numbers in glossary form i like that we use letter a to denote the set set of even number start from 2 so 2 4 6 8 even numbers are infinite so we take here dash 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 because they are up to the end now observe the second example set of even prime numbers from 1 to 50 we have to take here letter to denote set that is b and the even prime number from 1 to 50 is only one that is 2 2 is only one even prime number so here only one element in this set in this way we can write the set of even prime numbers in roster form now take the another example that is the third example set of negative integers we have to take here letter c to denote the set negative integers are start from Minus one. So here we write minus one, minus two, minus three, dash dash dash. In this way, because the negative numbers are also infinite. So the set of negative integers in the roster form can be denoted as. Just learn now the fourth example. That is seven basic sounds of a sargam. That is sur. So here we have to take. Letter D to denote this set. Seven basic sounds in sargam are sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni. In this, friends, let's study question number two. Write the following symbolic statement in words. Example first is that four by three belongs to Q. We have to write this statement in words as like that. Four by three is an element of Q. That is four by three is an element of set Q. The second symbolic statement is here minus two does not belongs to N. We have to write it in a statement form as like that minus two is not an element of N means. natural number minus 2 is not an element of natural number let's observe the third symbolic statement we have to write this statement in word form as like that set p is set of all p's such that p is an odd number in this way this symbolic statement can be written in the form of words Let's study question number three. Write any two sets by listing method and by rule method. This is open-ended question. Means we have to take any examples. So we take here the first example. That is A is set of vowels in English alphabets. We have to write this set in both methods. That is in listing method and rule method. First, we have to write this example in listing method as like that. A is set. So the name of set. means this set is denoted by letter a and vowels in english alphabets that are a e i o u each vowel is separated by commas because this is the listing method now we have to write this set in the form of rule method so the letter used to denote set is same as like that that is a we have to take here x to denote the elements of set so a is the set of all x such that x is a vowels in english alphabet in this way this set is written in the form of listing method as well as rule method now we have to study second example 
that is B is set of letters in word algebra. So we have to write this set in both method, listing method and rule method. Just write in a listing method as like that. B is set. So this set is denoted by letter B. Now the elements of this set that are A, L, G, E, B and R. We cannot take another A because they are repeated here. In this way, the set of letters in word algebra can be written in the form of listing method. Now, this set we have to write in rule method. As like that, B is the set of all Y such that Y is a letter in word algebra. Here we have to write down the rule by which the elements of set comes together. In this way we can write the set in both listing method as well as rule method. As like that we can take more examples and write that in both types of method. Friends, let's study next question that is the question number four write the following sets using listing method here we have to write down these sets in the form of listing method so observe the first example all months in the indian year we know that the months in indian year so the name of set can be denoted by year a now we have to write the elements of this set that is Indian year. They are Chaitra, Vaishak, Jeshta, Shar, Shavan, Badrabal, Ashwin, Kartik, Margashish, Poush, Mag, Falmu. In this way, there are 12 months in the Indian year. We can list them in the listing method. Now, take the another example that is letters in the word complement. Here, we have to write down the elements of complement in the listing method. So these elements are noted as C, O, M, P, L, E. M and E are repeated here. These elements are repeated. These letters we have to not write down again and again because the repetition is avoided in listing method. So after E we can write down directly N and P. M and E elements repetition is avoided here. In this way, we can write down this set. Now, take the another example. That is, third example, set of human sensory organs. So, human sensory organs, we all know that these are listed here. C is the set of eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin. These are the human sensory organ. We listed them in the form of listing method. Now, take another example that is fourth example. Fourth example is of set of prime numbers from 1 to 20. We have to know here what are the prime numbers from 1 to 20. Just we all know that D is the set of prime numbers. So, prime numbers listed here, which are they? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. These are the prime numbers from 1 to 20. So we listed them in a listing method. The fifth example is that names of continents of the world. We know that the world has seven continents. So we have to list them in a listing method. So Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia, Antarctica, South America and North America, these are the continents of the world. In this way, we saw here the question number 4. Friends, let's study question number 5. Write the following sets using rule method. Here, the example first is that A is the set of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81 and 100. If we observe this example, then it is clear that these numbers are the square of natural numbers from 1 to 10. 
So by using this property, we can write it in a rule method as like that. A is the set of all x such that x is equal to n square and n belongs to natural number. n is less than and equal to 10. If we take here 11, then we read as like that. X is, A is the set of all x such that x is equal to n square. n belongs to n and n is less than 11. So, by using this property, we write this set in the form of rule method. Now, let's study the another example. B is the set of 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42 and 48. If we observe this example, then it is clear that these are the multiples of 6 up to 8. By using this property in rule method, we write this set as like that b is the set of all x such that x is equal to 6 n. Here n belongs to natural number and n is less than 9. Means these are the multiples of 6 up to the 8 less than 9. So this set can be written as like that also. b is the set of all x such that x is equal to 6 n. n belongs to natural number and n is less than and equal to 8 because 8 is included here and in this way we can write this set in the form of rule method as like that. Now the next example is that C is the set of S, M, R, L, E. If we observe this example then it concluded that these are the letters in the word smile. So, we write this set as like that in a rule method. C is the set of all y such that y is a letter of the word smile. Let's study fourth example of question number 5. It is D is the set of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. By observing this example, these are the days of a week. So, we write this set in the form of rule method as that D is the set of all Z such that Z is a day of the week. Here, we use Z to denote the days in a week. Similarly, the next example is like that X is the set of A, E, T. These are the elements of the set X. But, by observing these elements, means these letters, it is clear that these are the letters of the word eat or t. So, this set can be written in the rule method as like that. X is the set of all y such that y is a letter of the word eat. In the place of it, we can also use t. Both are the correct answers of this example. In this way, we can write the examples of rule method in the listing method and the examples of listing method in the rule method. So students, here practice set 1.1 is completed.